Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Persis Plays Stardew Valley. As always, there's a link in the description to the playlist so that you can skip around, and also the thread on the Something Awful forum so you can play along with us. Uh, so we're here on Tuesday the 16th in our favorite place, Alpha Farm, and I've already picked the crops and watered them, so it's about time to head over, and we've got a letter that says Pierre is also selling fertilizers now, which is swell, because uh, we've got to head there anyway. So let's head over to Pierre's. We'll see what kind of uh, forage we can pick up on the way. we got more salmon berries here, which is great. Get some of that stuff, because the mine is imminent. I'm definitely doing the mine in this video. We're going to head down there. We're going to slay some monsters. Oh, there's another sunflower up there. Daffodil? Daffodil. There we go. Uh, we're going to slay some monsters. We're going to have some fun. Mine some rocks. Hopefully get some copper. And we'll show you how that goes. But in the meantime, back to Pierre's to get some seeds. And... Definitely going to want to go a long way around. See if we can find some more sand berries. What's it? Oh, we got another cutscene. Let's see what's going on here at Pierre's. You can help me by giving me some seeds. Oh, is this... This is, this is Morris, isn't it? He's got a black trench coat on. Stupid bow tie. Oh, what a jackass. I mean, you know, I'm tempted, but we've already made our decision. Oh, look, he's got even... Was that even Pierre's wife that went over for a coupon? Come on. Pierre's getting wrecked. Oh, Morris, you jackass. Look at that. Look at that face. Yeah, we'll see. Well, we're going to close the poll after this video. Uh, it appears we have made the choice to stick with Piers and the community center. All right, here we are. Uh, so we definitely, and let's go say hello to Pierre. He needs a little, oh, look at him. He's so sad. He needs a little cheer up. Uh, so we made the choice. A couple more people vote, voted uh, Joja. So, you know, that happened. But... Um, still have the vast majority, something like 70-80% uh, wanted to stick with the community center, so that's what we're going to do now. Uh, it's too late, 12 days, uh, actually we can, we can sew a couple of these right now, right? 12 plus 16, 28, yeah, yeah. I don't want to go too crazy, I forget how many uh, spots I have. Six days for potatoes, we have plenty of time. And actually, it's going to be the same, because it's two two cauliflowers or one potatoes. So, kale's the same as well. We already got some kale. Uh, let's just, oh, we don't even have that much money for enough, for a bunch of seeds anyway. So, uh, we'll just, we'll just go potatoes and see what else we can get. Let's go the long way down. See who we got here, Jody and Emily. She's working hard for her living, trying to pay the bills. Gus's saloon. Whoop, more flowers. Arnie. Says Shane's been crashing to her joint. Can we actually uh, cut down some of these weeds? There we go. So we can walk in between there. Nice. Got Leah. She's the one that lives, uh, well, we'll pass her house soon. That seven berry fell right in the water. Got a lot of nerve. Yeah, this is Leah's house down here. Just got that nice lakefront slash riverfront property. And we're going to take the long way around. Then we're going to plant uh, some seeds. And then we're going to do another jump cut. And move on to the next day. And then maybe the mine the next day. Or maybe maybe if, if nothing's happening, if I don't have any... Uh, cutscenes or anything like that maybe I'll maybe I'll just pound through another day uh, cut away so we can get the most days possible uh, especially because we're gonna spend some time in the mine uh, but for now it's just salmon berries somebody said I missed a bunch of salmon berries which is want to happen Ooh, there's one on the floor up there Look at that. getting floor score salmon berries 
You know, I should probably just chop these logs, because once they're gone, they stay gone, I think. Maybe, maybe in between seasons they'll come back. But yeah, no one ever said I was the most perceptive uh, <laughs> player of Stardew Valley. But, we get as much as we can. Because like I said, the mine is imminent, and it's going to be time. Now, the way the mine works, I may as well start talking about it a little bit now. Uh, the way the mine works is there's an elevator that you go down, and the elevator, like, it saves your progress every five levels, and if you die, bad stuff. Like, you lose, like, ten levels of progress and all your inventory. It's really bad. Really don't want to die. Um, and it's very Zelda style. Uh, like I said, we'll get into that either uh, tomorrow or the next day, depending. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just saving up some salmon berries. Look at that. We got like 25 salmon berries. And they keep respawning during the season, I think. I'm not sure. I probably missed some more, but you know, don't don't cut me up too hard. Uh, so, back up to the old awful farm. I'm going to plant the few seeds we were able to get. And unfortunately, Pierre is closed tomorrow, so... We're going to have a little problem. All right. Definitely have to get these down. Because, yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, so we got the cauliflower down because if we do not plant them today, they will not come up by the end of uh, spring. And we don't want them to die. So we got three potato seeds to plant for tomorrow. Not the best, but we do what we can. So uh, we're done on the farm. To Did I pet Tom Joad when I came out here? Got to pet Tom Joad every day. This is, this is important. It's fine. This is important stuff. Just put this crap back in here. Gonna need our sustenance for mine. Let's say hello to Tom Joe. How you doing? No, I did pet him. Why didn't you let me know I pet him? Okay, so let's go ahead and take a... Oh, we got a quick cutscene. This one snuck up on me. I was out fishing. I hope I got the uh, jump cut in on time. Seems like Linus is picking some trash. Got caught by George. All right, let's see. And we ourselves are garbage pickers, so we can't be too mad at Linus. <laughs> He's very sorry. Yeah, I know all about it. I got, you know, I got some bread. I ended up selling it on. Uh... Oh, man, look at that. That's some Fox News shit right there. Uh... Let's just let him do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm an open-minded person. Okay. So, he's not going to be rummaging anymore in George's uh, trash can. Oh, look, a salmon berry I didn't get. So he's going through the saloon's trash can. Those are my two trash cans that I hit up often. Oh, you got caught by Gus. Oh, what a guy. What a guy. Zucchini fruit. I could use some zucchini fruit. I'm going to need that for the mine. Well, that was an awful, awful jump cut. I was about to go in. Jump cut. And then this surprised me, so I had to, like, hot key. Hopefully I didn't cut too much out of the front. But I do get a chance for the salmon berry. So, uh, I may, mm, so I may as well head home. I just did some fishing. Head down to the beach. Got some, uh, uh, a little bit of coral. And now we're on our way home. Day 16. So, day 17 coming up next on Awful Farms. Here we go. And hopefully we get in bed in time so we don't lose any energy for tomorrow. And we'll go from there. So, uh, here is the fishing detritus. There you go. And 
Oops. And the actual fish, which I'm not exactly sure which ones I need, so I may as well keep them, as well as the oyster, which goes here. And let's get the rest of our forage in here. Oh, I got an anchor as well. I dug that up in the beach, which was pretty good. Put all that junk in there, and the anchor is going to go in here, in the box, with the other stuff that's going to Gunther. So... Uh, let's do, an I think I ordered all these. Yeah, I ordered all these. Petted Tom Chode. Uh, let's go ahead and head to bed. How are we doing? Yeah, there we go. All right, we already checked the TV in the morning. Let's head to sleep for the night, see what the next morning brings, and then we'll do a cut, water our plants, yada yada. Queen of Sauce, that's a rerun. What's the weather looking like tomorrow? It's going to rain tomorrow, so that's going to save me from having to water the plants. Ooh, look. We got all this stuff. Okay. Unfortunately, Pierre's is closed, so we're going to lose some of our fertilizer. Wake up. I need to pet you. Come on. Get over here. Get. Oh, Tom Jode. How could you do me like this? Here. Have some water in your bowl. Why is he not showing me love? This is just, uh, it's horrible. All right. Anyway, let's uh, pick the rest of this stuff real quick. And then I think I had a few potato seeds left over we can deal with. Uh, we're going to have to we're gonna have to see what we can do. And actually, because this is those spring seeds, this is actually forage stuff. So the cauliflower can sell. Uh, we can sell the golden, like, uh, forage stuff. But let's keep the rest. And we got this potato here, too. Did I put no? Okay. And we'll sell some of that stuff off. Uh, we don't want to save this stuff. We want to sell it all. So let's just sell some of this in the box. And then we can cut out the boring old watering. And actually, let's get rid of this. We need we need some dough. We need some money. Some moolah. So let's go ahead, sell this stuff off, and then we'll cut away. And maybe maybe do a little, little venturing into the mine. What do you guys think? All right, cut time. All right, so the watering is done, and we are ready to head into the mine. So this is how we're going to set ourselves up for the mine. We do not need the scythe. We do not need the, the watering can. We might find some worms we need to dig up, so we do need the hoe, and we obviously don't need our fishing pole. So we need our sword to be right here and ready to go. And what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, Mom's cookies and a bunch of salmon berries down there. Uh, we're going to eat those for energy. So uh, let's head up, and actually, let's go up uh, this way because I checked for salmon berries again uh, down south when I did one of those cutaways. So we'll go ahead up here and see what other salmon berries we can find. Oh, uh, there's a bunch over here, but that's, we have to, we have to go all the way back down to the bus stop. So we're just on the clock right now. And since we have, look, we got like 37 salmon berries. Since we have so many salmon berries, we'll actually be okay for energy because uh, the mine takes a lot out of you because you're swinging a mining pick. Oh, there's another one. Did that one automatically harvest itself? Is that what's going on? Give me that. Linus. It's my sandberry now, bitch. All right. So, uh... Oh, there he is right there. The jerk. Want a sandberry? Tough. Oh, you don't trust me? All right. That's good. I was going to give you a sandberry, but, you know, you know. And you have to go all the way around to get that one. We're going to leave that one be. All right, so here we are in the mine. Uh, this is the elevator I was telling you about. Doesn't seem to be working. So we got to go down the hard way. And this is our first foray into the mine. And it's kind of RNG, basically. Uh, we, we don't have any monsters yet, it looks like. But what you're always trying to do is mine up all this stuff. Uh, you see, we've already... Some of these take two wax. Some of them take uh, one. And the better the mining pick, if we get like our copper mining pick, uh, it'll get better. And what we're trying to do is find, just like we saw, the downward stairs. So you see up here, we're on level two now. Every five levels, it'll save your progress. So up, oh, downward. Again, let me just check real quick to see if there's any copper, because actual copper ore nodes look different than other stuff. Uh, so I just want to check for that. But otherwise, yeah, there's one right there check that and two smacks for these oh there's our first monster come at me bro oh man this sword is terrible look at that 
All right. Big excitement. We've got another one. Oh, he got a piece of me. He got another piece of me. I'm stun locking myself. Wow, that takes a lot of shots. We can also bash down these things. We get different things like cave carrots uh, for some for some tender vittles to eat. But basically, we're just looking for the way down. I wonder if we can get uh, 10 levels. I don't know. It's going to be tough. Uh, we do have uh, lots of the some salmon berries. So what we're going to do... Come on, eat it. We're going to eat some salmon berries, give ourselves back a good chunk of energy, and it also gives us health, so I don't have to be too concerned about getting uh, slime stuff on me. At least these ones. Later on, you get, you get to some serious business uh, monsters that give you some trouble. But for now, let's just try to find our way down. And it's 1.20 p.m., so we got to leave uh, so that we don't spend too much time. I don't know, like 10 p.m. or something like that, 9 p.m. But we are starting to get uh, some of the old copper, which is what we're going to need. Uh, I think the first thing we're going to have to do, we're going to have to make a furnace. Oh, we're going to need 20 copper or make a furnace. Brutal. All right. So lots of mining in our future. And of course, after the first few times, I'll cut that stuff out until we get to like, you know, different sections of the mine with different pallets and stuff like that. Oh, we got a ton of copper right here. Nice. And of course, you level up mining as well. The more you do it, uh, the less energy it takes per swing. All kinds of good stuff like that. Kill the bug. Nice. It's all about this game, man. It's very chill. Even when you're in the mo the mine, like fighting monsters, it's just it's just very chill game. I it really it's one of those this and Astroneer are two games I can just kind of like put on and and it just chills me right out. Even when that slime is getting all uppity, jumping at my grill. Come on. Oh. And we got the down, the down uh, hatch by killing the slime. We're running low on energy. Come on. All right. Let's eat mom's cooking uh, cookies, huh? Mom's mom's spaghetti. All right. Let's just see if there's any more copper down here. Yes, there is. Before we go down. All right. So we're we're coming into the level uh, level five. We're at three twenty p.m. We might be able to get uh, all the way down to number ten. Let's see. I want to give it a shot. I think we should give it a shot. And there you go. So that noise. See, now the elevator's working. So we can go to zero and then, boop, right back to five. Okay. So, more stuff down here. We'll see if we can get to ten before it comes time to get out of here. Luckily, we have our... Oh, jeez. We've got the crab rock things. They only take damage when, like, they stand up. So you got to sit here. Man, we need a new sword. Starting this game out. Brutal. Everything's brutal. Alright, try to get as many of these rocks as we can. Bringing these rocks. And if we can find the other downspout, we're at 4.20 p.m. I always got to keep, uh, keep watch on that. And we can avoid some of the monsters like that one crab rock thing. But we definitely don't want to avoid the slimes because, uh... You'll see a little bit later, there's, like, there's like a, uh, a board, it's like, you know, quest thing, like kill 20 bats and you get a prize, and kill, you know, 20 of those crab things that live under rocks and you get a prize. Uh, most of them are just like things you can wear or whatever. Don't kill me, do not embarrass me, jeez. Man, we need a new sword. Um, most of them are just kind of just nifty things. Like there's one that gives you a kind of cool skull hat and stuff like that. Um, but the slime one, which requires 2,000 slimes, which is a lot of goddamn slimes. Um, that gives you a ring which makes you immune to slimes, which comes in darn handy uh, later on when you, you can... One of the buildings you can get allows you to... Um, Running out of energy, I can see it vibrating in the bottom right here. So, eating up our salmon berries. And actually, it's a good thing we got so many salmon berries. This is going to get us through a lot of trouble. We're at 6 p.m. and we're at level 6 in the mine. I'm not holding out too much hope. Do we have a. Okay, so there's a quest to reach level 40. Uh, this is Craft a Furnace. We're working on it. Build a coop. Not yet. 
Uh, let's go, because we need copper to get a silo to be able to feed our chickens before we actually coop up, unfortunately. So, oh, there we go. I'm not even playing any games. I was sitting down. I saw there was like a bit of quartz over there, but... Just trying to take the beeline. If I can get to level 10, that would be very swell. And it, like I said, it is kind of RNG whether or not you find the entrance. So sometimes... Ooh, what was that? Oh, Topaz. Nice. Come on. If I can, like, pin him against... Because the, the way my sword knocks things back is actually... I mean, it's, like, kind of cool that it knocks things back. But it actually makes them kind of hard to get, like, follow-up shots on him. There we go. Down. Just go. The late... All right. I stopped for slimes, and I stopped for copper. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can stun lock them against the wall. There we go. That's what we want. Oh. Made you miss. Okay. So, big doings. Finally made it down to the mine. I hope it was everything you were you were hoping for. I know, I know that it's a riveting Stardew Valley gameplay, but like I said, it chills me out. It's a game I enjoy, and it's one of those things you have to go into the mine uh, to get the copper. We're at 32 copper. Oh, we're going to be able to make a furnace, guys. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it this evening, but we're definitely going to make a furnace, and that's going to allow us to smelt this other, other copper into copper bars, and that means we can, uh, once we get five of those we can make a silo or once we get um i think three of them we can upgrade some of our tools which is going to be a big deal oh, we can't find this downspout we're going on 8 40 p.m oh it's gonna it's coming right down to the wire come on uh but the big one's the watering can I'm starting to feel exhausted time to chomp down on more salmon berries Don't want to waste too much because we don't have too much more time here. But this is one of those times where, unfortunately, the RNG has boned me. Unless I walk right by, by the downspout and see this isn't like a, a a down area. I have to like mine every gut. There we go. Oh Jesus! Look at this. All right, come on. Luck. Luck be a lady tonight. And all these minerals and stuff sell, like that topaz we found. And the very first one you find, you can bring to Gunther um, to collect up all the Gunthers. And here's another one here, Earth Crystal. That's actually important because we need that to make mayonnaise machines. And that's going to be coming in handy a little later when we... Uh, I would go after that slime, but I'm really trying to find that last down. <laughs> Damn it. Um, once we get the coop, that'll give us eggs. And we want to get, we want to turn those eggs into mayonnaise for maximum profit. So that is the play. If I can get 10, 10 levels in one day, that's pretty good. And I would expect that, um, yeah, I might not have a lot of energy tomorrow. I might end up like squeaking home just in the nick of time. Come on, give me the down ladder. Oh, you jerks. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want to leave this behind. Come on, slime. Get stunned against those rocks there, along with your buddy the crab thing. I was doing mad damage to me. Come on. Ah, oh, pain in the ass. With this rusty sword, we need a new sword with the badness. There's so many rocks here. It's eleven o'clock. We're already pushing it. And if we fall asleep out on the road, that's not good either. We get like, oh, there we go. Oh, look. We get a prize. Leather boots. Don't put it out with your boots, Ted. So, leather boots gives me defense and some immunity to slime shenanigans. But now we got to use our new leather, leather boots and book it home as quick as possible because we don't want to fall asleep on the road. So, ignoring everything else, all salmon berries, I'm going to go ahead and get us home, and I will meet you again when we get there. All right, so we got back. We're going to lose a little bit of energy, but I'm going to go to sleep for tonight, and there we go. 
I wanted to start the video to see if we got uh, any new level ups. And we did. We got a nice mining level up, I would hope, with uh, 10 levels in the mine. Got some dollars. And Pierre should be open once more so we can get some stuff done. I always wonder what that noise is. I have no idea what it is. How you doing, Tom Jode? Let's see what living off, living off the land has. All right, it's telling me I don't have to water my plants. And you do not need to tell me that because I love not watering. And let's see what the mail has for us. Slate 10 slimes and you will earn your place in the Adventurer's Guild. Ah, doesn't count the ones we already slayed. All right, so all this stuff's already harvested and we just have to do a little goofy organization work here. Give me my fishing pole back, uh, you know, my watering can and my scythe and we can put the uh, sword back in. So, uh, I'm just going to spend the rest of this day uh, farming up. I'm going to plant some more seeds, and that's going to be that for today. So let's go ahead and give it a cut. Another cutscene. Let's do more fishing. Vincent and Jazz are playing with the sewer. So apparently Gunther has the key to the sewer. And that's perfect bulletproof ironclad logic right there from Jazz. Busted. Oh, they're not scared of me. They're scared of whatever's in the sewer. Oh good, we have some... Uh, Salmon berries, too. So there is something in the sewer. We saw it, too. All right. Yet another cutscene that sneaked up on... Snuck, snuck, sneaked... Snuck up on me while I was doing some fishing and foraging. So we'll do another cutaway. All right. So it's time to head to bed. Do we say hello to Tom Jode? I always forget if we said it. Okay. We gotta show love to Tom Jode. He lives a tough life. So, let's see if we get any goodies. Oh, more wild berry harvesting, more axe proficiency. This is good. And we can make some summer seeds if we choose. And we can make a charcoal kiln, which we can feed wood and get coal. So, that's good. And, of course, fishing uh, as well, which is great because I've done a bunch of fishing. Sold it out, now we're rolling in the dough. Which we're going to need for more seeds, for more crops. You know how it goes. You know the deal. So let's see what the TV says. Nothing. TV's got nothing for me. Oh, but we do have mail. We sell hats. Oh, the hat mouse wants coins because he's going to sell us hats. I know where that is, okay. Uh, fresh cauliflower. So Jody wants wants us to bring her a fresh cauliflower. We'll go ahead and accept that quest. Uh, there's no time limits on the ones you get in the uh, mailbox. So we can just accept that. But we do have the spare cauliflower because we were uh, smartly saving that stuff up. So uh, we'll say hello to Tom Jode. And then we will uh, do the normal standard stuff we do every day. Same thing every day. Oh, we got some potatoes and stuff. This, this is great. All right, so uh, let me do a cutaway. I think nothing else is going on this day, so uh, we'll see. Maybe I can squeak one more day in here. All right. Actually, let's do one last thing in this video. I'm pretty sure this is where she lives, and hopefully she'll be home. Uh, let's bring that cauliflower. We had that one saved cauliflower. Let's bring that to Jody. Let's say hello to her. She's, she's a Joja shell. How could you? Ooh. Just gonna make yellow curry, did that say? And bam, big money, big prizes. Can we go in here? We don't know him well enough. Not good enough friends with Sam. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna head on back home, uh, burn off the rest of my energy, do a little fishing, and we're gonna go ahead and call this video here. Let's see if there's any more, I think it might not be salmon berry season anymore, but while I'm doing my little outro, uh, we'll go and see what kind of things we can collect. 
Um, so I appreciate it very much if you're watching this video series. Uh, and as always, there's a link in the description to the game on Steam if you'd like to purchase it for yourself. It's a lot of fun, very relaxing, very enjoyable. Uh, as as you can see, as I hope you can see, I, I enjoy it very much. Um, also, there's a link to the somethingawful.com's forums. That was awkward. Uh, <laughs> the Something Awful forum thread uh, where you can play along with us. Uh, we're going to be naming some animals and stuff like that. Uh, I talked about it in the uh, thread a little bit. Uh, we're going to have access to chickens, ducks, uh, rabbits, uh, and then in the barn, and that's for the coop, and then in the barn we're going to get uh, cows, sheep, goats, and pigs. Uh, most of the stuff we're going to do, though, is going to be um, the kind of tier one stuff, the cows and the chickens. Uh, because the other stuff is more for specialty things, like we're going to need one uh, to get stuff for the community center and whatnot. And also, if you want to start thinking about the sword, look at it drip. Uh, if you want to start thinking about who we're going to romance and all that kind of stuff, uh, you can start putting it in the thread. We already have some ideas for uh, animal names, although you know we're going to we're going to have quite a few animals. Uh, one of the one of the big ones we got two votes for uh, painted horse as the name of our cow because uh, on TV and in video games they just use oh there's the hat guy. Guy. Let's go visit him. Uh, they just use uh, painted Southwesterner, which is like pretty much exactly the hat I have. Yeah, that is the exact hat I have. What are you, tro what are you, what are you doing, ha hat mouse thing? All right. Uh, so we had a few votes uh, for like Kentucky Fried and Nugget for chicken, um, all that kind of stuff. So if you just put the stuff in there, uh, once I'm just going to leave, you know, leave the thread go for a while. We got a little while before we start getting there. But once it starts getting close, maybe I'll put up uh, a vote or if there's only a few suggestions. Ooh, we have this lady, too. She sells uh, rare stuff. It's too bad we have no money. Excuse me, and she won't buy any of this stuff because it would be nice to get some of this stuff because we'll need it for the um, community center. But we'll have to come back later at some other time and see what she has for sale. Um, so in any case, uh, so yeah, catch up with us in the thread. Give us some animal names, mostly for chickens and cows. Obviously, we're going to have one horse uh, that we're going to get much later, and that's going to be... Um, a big deal because we only get one horse so the name for that is going to be important uh, but like I said if we only get a few suggestions for names for you know pigs and uh, or pigs chickens and cows uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use all the suggestions then if, if that's you know if I don't have to narrow it down so uh, that's the plan again I appreciate watching the video all that stuff's in the comments so until next time I'll catch you guys later